morning. It's uh, Tuesday, October 6th, 2020. It's 2.50 a.m. I'm on my way to the gym right now. Um, this weekend, ran a triathlon, an Olympic-sized triathlon, and I had no real expectation of outcome other than uh, my only expectation was to finish. And the only part of it that I was very unsure about was the swimming part of it. And I, I, I gotta be honest, I think everybody was because you can walk on land, you can, uh, you know, you can do a lot of things on land, but being able to uh, swim and, and keep your head above water and know what to do under certain circumstance. I mean, that comes with time and training and being in situations like that. And I didn't have that type of training. I didn't have that type of uh, forward knowledge or advanced uh, understanding of it. And I finished. Nevertheless, I finished. And something that I took away from that that was vital to my to my growth, to my development was you just you just don't know what you're capable of doing. When uh, when I first started running, I you know I never forget. I'll never forget the school I was going to. I'll never forget the scenario, the situation. Um, I just wasn't a runner. I just could not run. And what it was is I would just give up too quick. I would just give up. When I was running as a kid, the moment it got hard, the moment that my breathing got labored, the moment that I got winded, the moment that it just, my legs were a little too heavy, the moment that it just became uncomfortable, the fact of the matter is, it wasn't I wasn't a runner, it was that I just quit. And what's funny is, when I first started running with this men's group, me and my son go out there, my oldest, and we're out there with these guys and you know, pretty cool situation. And they said you can run three miles, five miles, run at your own pace. Well, I took that literally because the moment everybody was without of my range, out of my sight, I stopped running. And it was about 30 to 40 minutes before everybody came back around. You know, if you run the 10 minute mile, that's you know, 40 minutes. That was the loneliest time I had ever waited for people to come back around. And I was so down on myself. But that was the last time I had ever walked. Even with this Olympic, I seen people walk in the last 1 third mile, 2 thirds mile. I just kept telling myself, there's no walking here. You either run or you crawl. There's no walking. I guess what I'm trying to say is if you put your mind to it, 
Not saying you're gonna, you're not gonna come across distractions. Not saying the things aren't going to happen. But what I'm saying is that if you really put your mind to it, there's nothing you can't do. That swim was successful because I had visualized myself crossing over that line, finishing that race. And since the swimming event was the very first event, you gotta get through that if you're gonna get to the finish line. You don't finish the swim, you're done right then and there. One and done. So it's important. very important to know that you can get it done. Don't quit. Don't do it.